Alrighty, we are live. Um, so, I am playing a new game of Factorio that I set up. I've been playing a multiplayer game with my partner for about 80 hours. We got uh, satellites launched the other day, um, and since Fortnite came out and he's not playing that, um, I am working on a new single player map of my own on Factorio. So as you can see me kind of running around here. Um, I uh, don't have much done yet. I got a little bit of science going. I'm working on uh, working on starting uh, green science here. As you can see over here I've got uh, the whoops it's not what that was supposed to do. Um, I've got chip started there along with some uh, iron coming in here for some more uh, factories down here um, that are going to be uh, let's see what are we making with that I believe uh, inserters which we need gears for so this is gonna, these are going to be gear factories Um, so we want lots and lots of gears. Um, we're going to be dumping out onto two lanes each to hopefully keep it moving. And then so we need some this down here to dump onto. This, uh, we're going to bring the chips down. Uh, that's actually going to need to be come down and around and back up. So they got on both sides. Um, so we need some power here. So the one thing that really drives me nuts about this is the fact that you end up with this whole mess of power cords here, which drives me insane. Um, so it's basically the first thing I do as soon as I place power cords is get rid of the cords and restring them myself. I don't know why it decides to do 12 different connections to everything within range, it doesn't make any sense to me. This needs to go one more. Um, Alright, so power cords down here. Um. Alright, so we've got Copper, or I'm sorry, iron coming in. Um, we actually probably need a third string of iron over here. Uh, ouch, I don't have enough belts right at the moment. Uh, but we need another string of iron over here for another line of iron. So. It doesn't feed off of these because these are all feeding individual factories and I don't want it sucking up what's supposed to be for another factory and having none by the time it actually gets there. So we do that. Um, come down like this. Let's go a couple more out. Okay. 
Um, and then at that point, I'll loop back around, uh, go underneath, and then there will be uh, all three ingredients, I believe. Yes. Alright, so place factory, whoops, here, here, and here. some more inserters. We are going to need long arms. Um, to get that second belt. And then the fast to get the iron. <coughs> Alright, these are going to be sorry, inserters. And then the output of that is going onto yet another belt to be combined with actual belts, which I'll pull over here. do it this way, they'll end up on both sides of that belt. Um, and then three more factories below that. Will allow us to actually make green signs. Alright, so while that's working on that, I'm going to grab some more power poles. The other thing that I don't like is that it always takes my freaking copper cable to make other things um, when it needs to, which I understand, but at the same time, I would like to be able to designate some cable as like, do not touch this, I still need this, you know, don't use it for other stuff in the meantime. Because um, every time I make something that requires copper cable, I have to make more for myself. Alrighty, uh, so we now have the two pieces of green science, three more factories, Oops. and some inserters. And some power poles. And get rid of all the junk. Okay. Are those poles really that weak? Oh, I forgot to reconnect this end. Duh. There we go. Um, and then output. Might as well be making some of those while we're uh, doing this. Because reasons. Alright, I need some more belts up here. Good enough. And I'll start pulling this out to bring over to the science factories. Or the, the labs, rather. 
Um, okay, copper cable to get these together and to bring those together. And, whoops, sorry about that. Um, and, all right, so this is going to come. I think we'll probably merge these two lines then. So might as well do it there. So we'll get some green going on this line. Here for this. Rewire it. Oh, I forgot I was outputting on both sides of that. Well, that's not going to work. Are we doing anything down here? I forgot to set the uh, recipe. Do. Alright, slow but it's doing something, finally. Alright, well then, for right now, I guess we will do this. Of these to a long arm. And start a research. What do we got? Um, I have it on peaceful mode, so I'm not worried about the military, with the exception of I do want. Uh, just give me grenades, yes. I want grenades because I am tired of having to cut down trees by myself. It is a pain in the ass and I don't want to do it anymore. So that's doing that. Science is pretty slow. Um, I suppose what I could do here, since this is producing faster than it's using, is string this down here. back across here so um gonna need some long arms to uh, take the science out That was quick. Um, what's next? Ten more slots on the quick bar? Absolutely. Um, Alright, so we got our factories. Well, 
do, do, do. It's not going to line up, I guess. Which is going to bother me, but it is what it is. Uh, some more copper cable. And great science. All right, so now we are outputting a double piece theoretically. We've actually got a little bit of a backup on green science, which is pretty cool. Although part of the reason is I don't have things here. So I did lay out a couple extra rows or an extra row of this um, for later as we start producing more stuff. Um, and as you can see, I've laid out the start of a main bus here. There's a copper, I'm sorry, a coal field here that's in the middle of everything that kind of has to be dealt with first. But um, once that's done. be good to go. Actually I can place these right over, can't I? I always forget that. that. You can place right over stuff. Where's this supposed to be? Oh yeah, this is the other iron line that can't be built yet to the copper field. The coal field is gone. Alright. So Iron is looking pretty good. Copper is looking great. It's completely saturated. Iron is still looking pretty good. Um, could probably throw a couple more miners on there and see how much that would help. Since the ore on the top row isn't quite saturated as much as it could be. Alright. Science is backing up, which is good and bad. Obviously we want to be using, doing as much as we can. Um, grab some iron. Make some blue inserters and some labs. We'll set up a third row of science. I'm just about out of copper, or yeah, copper. Let's grab some of that. Those lines are looking good up here, so that's good. Um, so making two labs, so let's make one more to fill that in. Three, six, nine uh, inserters and some extras for later. Looks like green ship production is keeping up, which is good. Actually, we're probably overproducing given the circumstances. Um, same with gears, iron gears. This is working out pretty well so far, though. It is kind of a... Uh, kind of a mess at the moment. Um, like I said, I'm, I've got my main line set up and started ready to go. Um, I don't know why I went out one more on that. Oh, for down here I guess. Um, but I've got my main bus set up and ready to go, which is something that we didn't do uh, in the last game I played until pretty late into it. And I think it helps 
to have an idea where you want it when it starts. We're not producing enough electricity. go resolve that so right now I'm just operating off some steam engines here um, I don't have another boiler so let's get that and two of those going um, cancel some of these arms for right now okay and then we will add that on. That was working out really well for a while. Um, this is the first, I set this all up initially, so this is the first time I've had to add anything to it. Um, this is another thing that probably shouldn't be here. Because I've got some additional bus lines slated to come through here, but I figure probably by the time I get all that done, this will be obsolete anyway. I can move it up to here or Something like that. Alright. So, we have our boiler. Right there. Uh, the steam engines. Uh, Place that one apart to allow room for the uh, power lines. Man, I'm doing crappy with these today. Uh, pipe, boiler. Steam engine. And inserter. And as I try to walk through a pipe again, that's not going to work. Yeah, I'm going to have to seed that. That's fine. Okay. So that's up and run. Oh. Power cord. Power. power pole, wrong spot again. Yes, I'm OCD about power cords, power poles rather, and where they go. So, you will notice that, that I keep quite a close eye on that and want them lined up whenever possible. Alright, back down here throw on these three additional labs and you'll notice that there are outlines for beacons later um, don't have beacons yet I'm pretty sure uh, but that is something that will be coming uh, later and leaving space for them now obviously makes it much simpler later instead of having to find space for them. And I am out of power poles. And probably copper cables. Yep. Well, uh, what's next? Engines that would give us Post down on the path towards robots, which I love. Advanced material processing. Uh, this puts us on the path toward nuclear. Um, and eventually electric furnaces, which is good. Yeah, sure, let's do that. String these lines here once we get some copper cables. 
suppose I have some over here I could steal. In the meantime. Alright. So string this up. And looks like we're attaching with this far end. Okay, so we've got nine labs running now. Got the extra bars down at the bottom, which is nice. Green science is backing up pretty well, um, which is also good. It's moving pretty fast with actually doing science, which is good. I don't know how we could put in some more there. Um, let's see, what else do we need to start really focusing on making? Um, so factory building, so this is the uh, Factorissimo mod, Factorissimo 2. Uh, which I have not actually played with before. I watched a couple people play with it online um, or on stream earlier today, but uh, I haven't actually tried it myself yet. This looks like I need some stone, which I'm pretty sure these boxes are going to be. Yeah, I have a fair bit in them. So I can make one of those, maybe two. Need some more stuff for that. Um, okay, so these need coal. Cool. So that gets that going. So the uh, the factory small mod um, basically lets you build in a building that's what, f I don't know four by four, six by six on the map. Um, and its interior is 30 by 30. So basically lets you house a set of factories within a factory, for lack of a better term. So, okay, well it's bigger than four by four, but it's, what is that? Eight by eight probably? Eight by 10? In any event, um, we want to build this. Maybe here. Okay, bring some temporary power over for it. So you can see here, so there's a, a power monitor at the door apparently. Rotate to change transfer direction. Shift and rotate to increase max throughput. Control and rotate. Oh, so you actually change how much power is coming into the uh, facility. That is very interesting. Uh, so you can see it's a nice big area in here that you get to play around with. Um, doing obviously whatever you want. Um, the There are some uh, liquid pipes that I researched to bring liquid in uh, for things that require that. Although I haven't done much with liquids yet. Um, Alright, research, what's next? Circuits, engines, lab speed. Probably oil processing would be best, I suppose. Um, and all these uh, breaks in the outline, the border, are inputs and outputs from the factory, I believe. Um, How do you actually use them? I suppose I should actually read about this mod before I go trying to play with it. Let's take a look. Um, I suppose. 
suppose we have to hook something up on the outside first. So like if you had, whoops. So if you had this going, the question is, no. Hmm. Hang on just a second, folks. to toggle port markers. So those are the ports. They all show us out. But I know you can put stuff in. I'm wondering, let's try that. Um, thank you, Ritz, by the way, and welcome to the stream. Um, let's see here. Okay, so if I put something, ah, aha. Hey, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciate that, uh, Rocket Ritz. Um, okay, so yeah, if you have it coming up, it does come in. My question is, why is only one of them coming in? If I put something on it, yeah, what happens to this other side, though? It's because I don't have... Ah, yeah, there you go. So that's how that works. Gotcha. Well, that's easy enough. So like a 30 by 30 area. Um, let's see. It's big enough to do at least several of these. Um... was my question, which I haven't figured out, although I really like this factory idea. So obviously, with this, I'm going to actually move this, um, move it down a little bit, so we have more room for connections, or for, you know, bringing stuff into it. Alright, so if we extend these a little bit, grab some more of these first. my F button no longer working. Have I gone stupid? Moving around is working. Z is working, but F to pick stuff back up is not. What the hell is going on? I 
I do like the idea of having a preview by hovering over the factory. Okay, let's try... Okay, alt-tabbing is not fixing it. What in the hell? Alright, uh, I am going to take a quick break and try and figure out what the hell's going on with this. I'm going to have to restart the game, so uh, we will be right back. What the hell is going on? All right, um, that did not work. Hang on. There we go. Uh, okay, so I don't know what the hell the problem was. Restarting the game fixed it. So, moving on. Belts. Um, so, let's bring this out some more. Um, okay, so that comes out there. Uh, we need some power to the... building here. Um, cable. Okay. Uh, so what do we want to make inside this building? That is the question. Uh, so I feel like the next thing we kind of need is Military science, I suppose. I suppose it can't hurt. Um, although, it would be nice to do some stuff with oil. Um, and the problem is, there's literally two little dots of oil in the ma entire map that I have so far. That's not fantastic. Um, let's walk over there and see what it looks like. I uh, could be making... Ah, steel plates. That's what we need. Also, this looks like it's cut down a lot. Probably because we're siphoning off three times. Four times. Um, so, let's get some more 
uh, factory or uh, smelters online here. So for that, we need some furnaces. Two more. All right. Um, some arms. In, in, in. And some more of those. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we're waiting on orange. Okay. Um, and drag this out some to there. I did pre-wire it earlier, so that's all taken care of. Um, do need some more belts, so all well, those arms are being made. Oh, I did start making blue instead of orange. Whoops. Oh, well. no biggie. Um, let's grab some belts. Lots and lots of belts. Uh, what do we got here? Um, a few of those. Um, probably gonna need some more of those. Might as well make what belts we can as well. some of these trees so I can kind of see what's going on with the belts here um, all right so we need doesn't really matter which one we use I suppose um, and over here and here we really do really do need is uh, long arms now. So let's go grab some inserters, which is probably simpler than making them myself. Although, yeah, it's fine. Um, I also need just some straight iron. Make a bunch of those. Okay. So steel. After we get this sorted, steel is going to be the next thing we start working on. So my idea was going up and down with these. Copper going up from here and uh, iron going down. So it doesn't really leave much room for steel, I suppose. Um, what I could do is just put a, a bank of steel here. Well, Yeah, I suppose that would work. Just... So if we keep going down with iron, that's fine. We'll eventually fill up... What did I leave? Eight belts for that. Um, eight belts of copper. Probably wouldn't hurt to have eight belts of steel eventually. Um, although steel comes from iron. So I suppose maybe we could do a vertical smelting line out further that way for steel. Anyway, we need to finish filling this in. So this goes like this. There, 
there, there, there, there, and there. Um, need arms. We actually need to go back and fill in all of these um, undergrounds since we're actually using them now. That just comes down from the top, so we can leave that for now. Um, this goes there, and then theoretically, that hits the splitter here and gets merged in. Make sure that's working. Yep, looks like it. Okay, cool. Um, Excuse me. But up here it looks like we're not getting quite enough ore. Now so let's get rid of that place it in a minute. Um, I can go there. I can go there. Oh yeah, we're definitely using way more ore than we're bringing up. Uh, so let's add some more. previous done. What is this? Plastics for once we get oil, uh, flammables which leads to like a flamethrower I believe, and rocketry which eventually leads to the rocket silo and so on and so forth. Um, circuit network. This, ah, this one. This gives us bigger power poles that aren't as much of a pain in the ass. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Alright, so how's this working out? Should probably add a couple three or four more down here. How's it actually looking? Staying fairly solid. It's not as bad as it was, certainly. Uh, it's going to have to be spread out a little bit more for the power poles. Um, and again, this is not going to be lined up, but whatever. Um, some belts. Uh, actually, this time I think we're going to go this way. Um, and under. To keep it on that side. And I did have one more here. Okay. So. See how that helps. Ore line is getting 
pretty saturated in here, although then it's being split into two, which is not helping. Um, there are two inputs here, so I could add... Uh, a separate line with additional, which I might just do. do some down here, some circuits, nice, completely saturated on uh, lab, or science beakers, um, so I needed some gears right here, I'm sure iron's not going to hurt either, um, make five of those, and maybe put them down somewhere in here. So do one there. Start a new row here. Um, and Okay, so this line, oh man, I dragged that line the wrong way. But at least you can overwrite it, which is pretty cool. I do like that. I do like the, the fact that you can replace stuff in place with some of the stuff like that, like the um, underground belts, the splitters, the factories even. That's pretty cool. Um, going to go that way. These are going to go uh, up from there. We'll run it in there and make that the main line. Um, and run it by here just so this can add whatever it grabs. some power poles all right so with the addition of that it's another six brings us to what, eight twelve sixteen probably about twenty five miners mining drills okay that's starting to saturate completely already backed up on this side good 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 alright now the goal is to saturate the output completely um, which easier said than done. Um, actually though, it probably it won't be too hard. Um, okay, so we got some factories here, or some uh, smelters here. Um, let's just do those for now. some more of these whoops um, still not to that area so that's fine need to drag these belts out a little bit boom alright so good to go there yeah Filling that up, hopefully. Ah, there we go. It's being used, um, but it is completely saturating that belt now. It is completely saturated. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, so, that's about done. 
Um, substations would be nice. We're not a blue, uh, blue science yet. I guess we could work on military science, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we need um, steel. So, uh, sure, why not? Uh, so, steel. Um, I was going to do that as a vertical out here, wasn't I? So once we're past the copper, there's not much else here, so we could go... So nothing over here requires uh, steel. So we go like this. My problem is uh, actually... Uh, here's where the grenades come into play. So let's make a few grenades and blow up some trees. and try not to get killed in the process. Really? Okay, well, two. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so I guess we're going to need more than I thought. Uh, do, 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 do. Although once it's there... Still takes the same amount of time to cut down. Never mind. Um, because we're looking for a space that is big enough to fit this. It's actually just, what is it, coal and iron? It's dead simple. Uh, I've got a coal mine over here. I could set up a factory for these actually. Um, Continue downward here. Where is that? Uh, something like that. slow to make. And come on. Although I suppose if I stand closer maybe it'll help. Maybe. I suppose I should really be going down this way since that's kind of below the Ah, the preview. Nice, very nice. Um, yeah, we're going to need way more of these. Um, so, let's bring a coal line over here. Actually, we could set that up in there, I suppose. Um, let's make some miners and uh, run a new coal line out of here and bring it over. So if we go boom boom, ah, we have new power poles don't we? Require steel, never mind. Uh, 
Alright. So there's that. Um, so that's going to bring it over to here. Go down in the median here. And uh, string it across. There's some coal. Um, so we're going to want to bring that down. Um, so it's there and there, and there and there. So under out. Wait, that doesn't seem right. Uh, because I am dumb. Alright, so come down there. I uh, need some more undergrounds. And out again. Um, need some more belts. Belts, belts, belts. Um, alright, so where is the, so that's the input for that, um, we will split it here, so, let's see, goes there, 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 and another splitter. Um, and then this is coming off and down into here. Bring the rest of these forward. Alright, so let's go inside and take a look. So it should be these two. Indeed. Um, let it stop after three. Oh, because I guess I can only do three. Okay. Um, so what we need here is some factories. Um, we need factories that can make grenades. Um, so we'll do do three blue factories, plates of coal, pretty simple. Um, so, um, I don't know how I want to do this. Uh, two lines running next to them, probably. Okay, so I have. Inserters. Uh, I'm going to need long inserters. I've got two lines. What's the recipe? Five iron, ten coal. Coal should probably be down front since we need more of it. Um, that's not what's supposed to happen. And then. Kind of dumb because I put this over here and it can't actually do anything over there. So we put that there and that there. Bring these out. And everything in this factory is powered. That is fantastic. Or in this building is powered. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So, now we are making grenades. Um, we will bring them out onto a belt. Um, actually, I will bring them out this way. 
try and keep this kind of up in this corner here. So now go, going out there, if we place a belt on the outside, there should now be an output of grenades. Yay! Tad slow to make, just like they were manually, but uh, much better than waiting for them every time I want to make them. All the pot marks from the grenades. Okay, so um, there could be like a row of those, I suppose, maybe. Um, so we want to go here. Um, so, like, this area needs to be wiped out. A little too close that time. Alright, grab some more grenades. So I'm assuming the back up the line in here if there's if the line out here is full. This line out there is full. And they're backing up in here. Awesome. Man, this is a really nice mod. Definitely recommended. Look up those couple that are being stupid. Whoops. Alright, what's next? Um, chest connections allow you to transport items through your factory building using chests. Rotate the connection indicator to choose between input, output, or balance mode. Shift and rotate, control and rotate, change update rate. Allows you to transport items through your factory building using chests, meaning into? I don't really understand that one. Architecture 2 gives you factory building 2, which obviously more stuff, but 46 by 46 interior space and 24 connections. That's pretty cool. Um, this gives you an alt view over the alt view display to the factories, um, items that overlay controllers inside your factory to determine what's shown on the outside. Um, sure, why not? All right, do we have enough space for this yet? Please. Not quite. A little bit more. Perfect. Um, perfect. That works. All right. Now this is going to be uh, bringing iron plates in along with coal and uh, putting out steel. So we need some furnaces. We need some arms. We have lots of orange arms, which are going to be fine for this, I believe. Um, so that'll be fine. Uh, we're going to need some red arms, which we have some of, not a huge amount. Uh, so put those there. Um, do need some additional splitters, probably some undergrounds. Um, grab some more belts here. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, so we start at the top here. Um, out and in, in, in. The brick is right there. Okay. So we'll take that down to there for right now. 
Um, we're not going to do the lights. Um, we need power poles. Might as well just do the whole thing while we're working on it. Um, boom, boom, boom. And back up the side. Missed by one. Okay. Um, and then, oh. There, oh I started to stop down there. Uh, and then this needs to be hooked to power. Which will come down and around here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, there we go. Uh, we need to put in some undergrounds here. Splitters. Need some more circuits. Always more belts. Always more belts. Um, I suppose those should be going to a box rather than just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, box, box, box. Um, long arms. Alright, so arms, all that. Um, a couple more splitters. Don't need to worry about that yet. Uh, belts. Okay. So, comes down to here into a splitter. Um, this one comes out of the splitter. back in there because that goes there is how it will eventually be um, for right now just do that and the side needs to come down to as far as we are smelting um, Oh, coal is going to be coming in here, so this needs to oh, we got circuits, engines, lab research, concrete. Um, it's needed eventually. We'll do lab research for right now. My one question is... Oh, I believe this is actually supposed to come across like this. And in there, so it splits between the two. Yeah. Okay. Um, although it doesn't matter because it will split between the two either way. But that's fine. Um, so we need a, a line uh, for incoming uh, iron plates, a line for incoming coal, and then I think that's it. completely backed up on science, so it doesn't really matter what I steal right now. Um, 
so let's bring iron. Here, okay, so if we have two inputs, um, for that, let's do need some more splitters. Let's do one back here. Finish this off. Um, so there. All right. So splitters here. Whoops. There. So that gives us one line. And then for the other line. That being like that, so then oh, my bad. Um, that actually goes there. Uh, splitters go here, here, and here. Bring out some additional lines. All right. Um, so that's bringing in iron plates now. Um, I should probably run a second line for coal if we have room. Oh yeah, we have plenty of room. Or I could just uh, dump it on this first line from the other side, and that will. Uh, just double up the supply there. Could also put one down in here that we haven't yet. Um, so we'll do that one. That'll add a little bit. And then there, 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 there. One more in here. That'll help fill out that line a little bit. Could actually even do one down here. Stretch this line out. Okay. Um, well, it's still not really terribly saturating it. Um, let's do some more. Some power poles, uh, some belts, um, feed this in automatically. That's getting better. All right, and then we'll split this over here. Um, Split it. We're in a median, right? Yeah. Split it right there. Always running out of freaking splitters. Grab some more circuits. And. Whoops, I was about to just fix the line. Um, Okay, so we will put a splitter there. Um, the line needs to come over to up there. Um, all right, what's next? Sure, lab research too. Um, so that goes there. Go under, flip 
that. Um, hello? That's too wide, isn't it? Crap. Hey, I have these now. Alright, where can I steal some gears from? I really need to be making gears independent of all this. There's one set that I can use. And that should be just should be long enough. There we go. Alright, so that's gonna come around and start feeding these, which will start outputting steel plates. Fantastic. Yep. Ah, that's slow. Okay, so maybe we'll do more of these sooner rather than later. to bring me some, except I don't have robots yet. I don't know why I always open my inventory after I grab stuff. I don't know if I'm trying to figure out how much I have or what, but... Okay, so... That is saturated once I flip that the correct direction. Not saturated, but you know what I mean. Um, it will be, because it'll back up here pretty quick. What are we doing in here? Oh, electricity's down a little bit again. Um, boiler, steam engine, need some plates. Steam engine and we will add on just gonna have enough room I think hopefully mm. uh, yes and no so we're gonna have enough room to set that there the problem is getting power poles around it um, that's too long to go. I guess we're going to have to throw an underground on here. Okay, and then we need a... What do I do with it? There we go. Uh, one of those guys, bring this line up, not that far, um, feed it some, hello, oh, no power. There we go. So we're not too far ahead of usage at this point. So I think what I would like to do let's see if I 
can make that one longer. Yes, I can. Um, what I would like to do is go past this little guy and uh, do another row of them. Actually, two more rows. Um, need an underground for down here to bring the cot the coal up. There's that. I guess we use an orange one for up here. That's fine. Um, there and there. Uh, actually, it's going to be one higher. Because. Um, there's that. Uh, we need a single pipe to place there. We need the this guy. We need those two, and we need to put some power poles up there and there. Good and good. Now producing about double what we're using. So for the moment, um, we're good. All right. So this is doing pretty good, of course, naturally, because it's backed up, because the line doesn't go anywhere yet. Um, Alright, so if we have two sets of iron, which is those two, we have two sets of this, which is those two, so the line starts here. Although I suppose if steel doesn't start till we the crap down there, this line doesn't need to be all the way out there. It's just it's just four above the one below it. Um, so it is aligned with this. All right. So we'll start it. So that's going to be coming through here. So actually, this line needs to go underground, as does this one. I need plates. Always with the plates. Always with the plates. Let's make a whole bunch while I'm thinking about it. All right, so so there's that. Um, next one is here. Um, so. So there, um, for hmm. science again. What do we got? Um, those are all blue, so it doesn't help right now. Architecture two gives us bigger building for um, 
the factories in a box. Engines would not be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, those will work pretty well. Okay, um, so there. And then eventually this will be four. Whoops. Okay, so we now have a steel line. Um, so what do we need to make? Um, so the one thing with the steel line being up there is, obviously this factory down here is a problem. So, maybe I'll split it here and run that one that way and this one back this way. And that way. We have it for both. Alright. Um, I'm going to take a short break and get a drink refill here. Um, so I will be back uh, very shortly, uh, a few minutes here, uh, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Um, so we have um, the engines that finished while I was gone, the research. Uh, so I'm going to do railways next. Um, that'll come in pretty handy uh, fairly soon. And um, meanwhile, we need to get on making some science, perhaps. Some military science. I can't remember what actually unlocks blue science. It's got to be one of these. Obviously, because we need blue science to proceed. Um,
my blind. The effects of one of these should include blue science. Unless it's unlocked by uh, like one of the factory upgrades, not from the mod, but from the base game, um, the assembly factories. But none of these seem to be unlocked that would do that. I feel like it's one of these. Okay, see, this one gives us yellow science. So, do we have a ways to go before we get blue science? Well, this one requires blue science to get yellow science. So, which one of these doesn't require blue science? Electric engine. Light. Lasers. No, then those both require... Okay, I'm going stupid here. Um, modules, no. I, I must have completely lost it. So which one actually lets you get batteries? No. I feel like I'm being completely stupid here. If you know, feel free to chime in. It's not flight. So the problem is, all of these, the next level usually requires, well, except for the military ones, but the next level usually requires blue. So it's got to be one of the unlocked ones, I would think, that gets you blue. I'm just completely blind, apparently. Yes, it is. Okay, so plastics and then advanced electronics. Let's do plastics. Holy crap. Blind sometimes. Also, that was backwards. So that's not a good thing. Um, so if we did want to do military science, though, um, we're making grenades. Uh, piercing rounds magazine is a firearm magazine, which is just iron plates, steel plates, and copper plates. Um, so we could make start by making firearm magazines. Um, do what I was intending. Um, so if we bring this over here, we already have iron plates uh, to make firearm magazines. So let's make a couple more of those.
Um, go here. I suppose we might as well dip down since it's just cop or just uh, iron plates. Make it easier on the arms. Um, I want some blue arms for that. Okay. So that gives us those. Um, need some place to output that. I think what we'll do is just try and keep it within this facility. Um, so we'll just output on this belt here. Okay, so that gives us yellow, um, which combined with steel plates, copper plates, gives us red, or piercing rounds. So, uh, if we come in, do like three factories vertically here. So we come in on those two ports, that should work. So here and here, um, copper and steel. So we need to bring copper across, we need way more belts first. Belts, 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 belts. Belts. All right, there is some uh, copper. Here, so let's do that there. I actually did that wrong. Um, okay, need more of these. This is going to have to go underground. So there's that. And now this is going to have to go underground. Uh, there's my splitters. All right, there's some copper plates. So there's copper plates going in, and then we need to grab some steel. Um, I'm just going to turn the whole line for right now because there's nothing else that needs it. to the left, or to the right rather. Um, so, there's that. come in here and there so this shouldn't come that far out um, and well, why 
actually do, I think, is bring them up here and put them together. Bring that down alongside it. <clears throat> and this is three, so it has to be a blue factory, which is fine. I go grab some supplies while that's being made. Put some steel in my inventory. Oh wow, holy crap. So is our line... No, that's all saturated. Are we really using it that quickly? It's all completely... The ore is saturated. Obviously the output is not by any stretch. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, crap. Not bad. Um, Alright, advanced electronics. That will give us blue science. Come on, hurry up with my copper cables, you jerks. Alright, come on. I have to wait for my factories to be built before I can do anything about it. Okay, there we go. If I can, <coughs> if I can grab it. Alright, and... Hello? I don't know why you won't go away. Anyway, um, and drag this across here. Okay, so we need some more smelters on one furnaces. I hope we get electric furnaces soon. There's such a huge upgrade in terms of speed. And also in terms, just in terms of uh, um, <clears throat> being less of a pain in the ass to work with, since obviously you don't need uh, coal anymore. At least not for them. And I am out of underground scan. Yay! Okay, I'm out of belts. We're not stuff a lot apparently. <laughs> Alright. Anytime. Again with the robots that could bring me stuff. I really wish I had them again. Huh. factory making them, I suppose. Okay. I should probably also have more than one uh, conveyor belt bringing it across to there, but if this belt isn't even saturated, I guess it doesn't matter. Excuse me. Okay. So. I'm just filling the rest of the belt there. I don't know why that one was curved at the end. I feel like it doesn't matter. That. Oops. Just that. And 
and placing additional belts to get that all done. Okay, um, arms. Hey, research. Mining productivity, yes. Yes, please, that would be fantastic. So mining productivity uh, increases the output of ore um, that you get from a mining pass uh, by 2% per level. And you can do it for three levels on the red and green science, the science pack one and science pack two. Um, so up to 6% increase in productivity, which is... I mean, it doesn't sound like a huge amount, but it stacks up over time when you think about how much iron is actually being pulled out of the ground. Need some red arms. So there's that for right now. Might as well just finish this off over here. Um, there's still lots of stone. I was going to say I should go get some more stone while we're over here, but I still have lots of stone in my inventory, and I don't want it to be all stone. Get rid of these lights. really don't need the lights. I mean, yeah, it's nice, but you get a fair amount of light when the... Uh, furnaces are running just from just from running so it's really not a big deal um, plus obviously if you're standing there you have your flashlight um, there, 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 two more furnaces right uh, build some more cool all right so that should be that And are we getting something out the end here? Yes, yes we are. Still not saturating. What would happen if I replaced the arms with blue? Probably not much. Well, coal I guess doesn't really matter. Or, I mean it matters obviously, but it doesn't matter as much as output or um, iron ore. The problem is iron ore is on the outer belt and therefore I cannot uh, use it f use the fast arms for them. Um, see if that speeds things up at all. Looks like we're pretty well saturated over here. Um, we'll see how it looks as it filters down. Obviously breaking it into four lines is not going to help, um, but as things start to back up it'll fill in those lines and hopefully go from there. So we'll see how that goes in a while. Um, so back to in here. We made some factories, which is why I walked away. Um, so, boom, boom, boom. Man, I love not having to play, place power poles in here. It's, it's ugh, so fantastic. Okay, um, those arms, and then a red arm. And we are making piercing rounds. Okay, so is there a reason? Oh, because they're full now. Never mind. I was gonna say is there a reason you're not grabbing the steel, but it's because they're full now. Okay, so blue or military science is piercing rounds, 
grenades and gun turrets. Gun turrets... that's not a gun turret. That's not a gun turret either. Let me guess, it's a research that I didn't do. Hey, turrets! Um, I'm going to research that real quick. Um, crap. Oh no, it did save the progress. I was going to say, maybe it doesn't save progress in single player, but apparently it does. So I was told it doesn't save progress, and then when I was playing that uh, multiplayer game with my partner, it was always saving. So I was very confused. Um, but so we were, will resume researching mining productivity there. Um, we can now make gun turrets. Iron gears, copper plates, iron plates. Lots and lots of iron, in other words, which you can see it just barely trickling in here. Um, which is fine, because those aren't making anything right now, but uh, obviously that's a problem. Yeah, even fully saturated, it's... We're pulling too much off of it too quickly. So, what this means is we need... Because you can see the ore is basically completely saturated. There's a little bit of give in it up on this side, um, but it's basically completely saturated. Um, so that means we need another whole setup. And luckily there's a iron mine right there, as well as room left in this one. Um, so we're going to use grenades. And go get some grenades. When we use those, we're gonna have to be careful that we don't hit our equipment that we've built. Because that would suck. Uh, grenades should be here. 605. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright. So, there's the mine here that I'm gonna need. I have to say this is quite enjoyable. <laughs> as much as it's so much fun watching a mass of robots just go after trees and annihilate them, just pounding them with grenades is also quite enjoyable. Not that I have anything against trees except in this game they're in my way and that was too close. I kill myself if I don't watch out. And again, good job. I don't think there's an achievement for suicide, unfortunately. More fortunately. I think there's one for getting hit by so many things and surviving. Uh, we'll do mining productivity again. Okay, so this is where we need to be kind of careful. Yeah, let's make some... Uh, Repair packs. Um, grenades again. Unlike the trees, which heal themselves after a little while, um, equipment does not. That would actually be really, really cool. Um, although, once you get robotics, robots fly around and repair stuff if there are repair packs in the network. So there's that. Uh, how far down? Oh, well, well, yeah, we didn't need to be this far down. Um, I'm not going to go a little bit more here at the end just to give us some breathing room. And we're good for right now. All right, repair packs up here. OK. 
Okay, good to go. Um, blueprint. Rotate it again. Yeah, input and output there. Okay, so up here I have one, two, three, four open spaces. Two, three, four open spaces. Cool. Um, start filling in. Actually, let's get the ore going first. So we will go. There, 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 and need more. Circuits, of course we need circuits. Circuits very quickly can become the bane of your existence in this game. Never enough circuits. Never, ever enough circuits. That was an interesting sound effect as I walked by the lab. I don't think I've ever heard that one before. It's kind of that buzzing that was like a Sciencey buzzing, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> like it's science, you know. Why does that look like a tree? I guess it's not. Why is it red though? Hmm, weird. All right. Um, so we got these three. We got. That one, um, sure, I can do some over here, whoops, I'm used to playing, placing them next to each other when I have like substations available, um, which I don't think we do yet, negative, um, I need more of those, don't I? Yes, yes I do. Well, we're standing here. Okay, that'll go that way. Um, I need some more of these. Some more mining, mining drills. Electric mining drills. <clears throat> uh, did we run out of coal? did we run out of coal? I'm always very suspicious when everything goes offline and the coal is completely gone on the pipe in front of it because that means that at some point before the power shut off these stopped outputting and why? I need some coal to fill that in manually. I have no idea where those stopped outputting. Unless um, there's just too much now. There's just too many drill um, boilers to keep up with uh, that the coal is no longer sufficient here. Or that line anyway. That means we might have to start looking for another coal line or coal mine. There's 134 up there. There's still 671,000 in here. I suppose what I could do. Let's see, that line's saturated. This is splitting. But see, that lens filling up. As we sit here and wait, that lens filling up. I don't think it could have... Unless there was a surge in electricity. But there's not. There's nothing that should have made that stop. That coal run out. On the line leading up to it. Other than the, the things here, the mining drill is going offline. But they shouldn't have gone offline if there was still power. 
And if there's still power, they should have still been outputting coal. And if they're still outputting coal, then the, the boilers should not have run out. There's a paradox there. I don't really know how to answer it. All right, so we need some power poles. Some power poles. I should make medium power poles, really. Get to that in a bit. Okay, so uh, we have room for, what, two ore input lines? We'll start with one. Um, one of them is going to be from here. Uh, that's the wrong place. And the other one is going to be from... Of course there was one off. Why wouldn't I have been? Probably because there's a tree there and I didn't want to ruin the tree. Um, I need some power poles. Wow, well, I'm out actually. Mm, I'm not going to make medium yet. I do need some copper in my inventory though. And since this is apparently just fine in terms of health of the line since it is completely saturated all the way out which actually iron is now too so maybe what I'm doing isn't necessary yet oh well um, and the other thing we could do because like the ore here is actually slowing down. So the other thing we could do is how far do these electric poles last? So you could do one in between them and then have a dead space. Or better yet, let's do that. Let's take all these out. See, this is another thing where I want my robots. Because there is the deconstruction planner. And if you have the robots uh, and you mark the things for deconstruction, they deconstruct it for you. And the deconstruction planner can be filtered so I can tell it, like, drag it over this entire area and tell it all I want to remove is the power poles. And it will just send out robot. It will send out robots and just remove the power poles. It is fantastic. I love it. See now, if we do this, this will increase the amount of ore that's being output um, by quite a lot. Well, maybe not a huge amount, but enough. Hopefully. Um, let's see, we had a couple more there. Um, so what this will do is uh, increase the amount of ore that's being output um, and I can put power poles like here and if we do undergrounds then so like that takes care of those four as opposed to having spaces in between and having poles around all of them it's not a uh, It's not a substation yet, but it's getting closer. Okay. Um, this is going to go there. Uh, so the next one needs to be here, uh, there, and there. Um, so this and this need to come up and become undergrounds. So there you go. Um, now obviously it's going to come out of the ground faster and so this 
lot is not going, this area is not going to last as long. But that's fine because if the ore stacks up, excuse me, if the ore stacks up, the mines are, will stop. Um, and until there's room to output again. So that's not a big deal at all. Um, so like in this case, we can do, now that, you know, I already have this belt running, um, is back it up directly into there. I need to make more iron. Um, iron. So there, there. And then we'll just feed that ore in manually when I go over, when we get the uh, area set up. Actually, I can just do it now. Come down to the end. There we go. All right. Back this way. <coughs> and go like that. And then again, we'll have to do the uh, so there, there. Poles. Yeah. So medium poles is another thing you run out of a lot in my experience. There's just a lot of stuff where you have to uh, bring in power. Yeah, it's not working. Theoretically. All right. Now this would be a time when it would be nice to have a light. I will give you that, um, but it's not still not that big a deal. Okay. So what we're going to do here is jiggle these around. We're going to place them such that we actually don't even need the. Um, the uh, arms there. Um, I'm going to rip all this up and place them more densely. Actually, I'm going to move these down one. So it's not going to be aligned with the other, with the cross of the way, but um, it'll keep them operating longer because they won't run out of stuff to mine so quickly. Um, yeah, I know, you're not getting any power. Okay, um, so we will run it, let's say here. Actually, there and back to back with that. This is going to move down a little bit. Let's see. Um, it's going to be on both sides. It's going to be on one side so I can feed into that. It's fine. Kind of rejigger this too. All right. Um, yeah, can we do this whole area?
And luckily it has a little bit of ore to work with. Actually, no, it doesn't. This line is running to the new setup, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it'll be back online very shortly. Um, there we go. Oh, hey, while I'm thinking about it, steel axes. So steel axes increase your mining speed, which also increases your... Um, when you're trying to take something off, like that, it increases that speed too. Um, so that's probably going to get moved. So you can see stuff is coming up much quicker now, which is awesome. Um, so, do I want that line? Okay, so what's actually running into this now? Those two banks We'll run these two banks in. So that'll be on the inside. So if we go like this, that'll be on the outside. Um, so that works. Let's run into that second line because there's already that whole bank is going into there. So maybe these should be feeding. We should reverse this and those should be feeding. Um, that. That would make more sense. Although make more sense if this was like that so they're on both sides okay um, we need power coming into this I love how far these reach. It's awesome. Okay, so that can come over to here. Let's see, I'm going to want it along that line. So how far that can reach. Uh, so if we go here and here. In there, and then get some underground going. It doesn't need to be there. Okay. Um, so down to here, we'll emulate that. So that is now outputting into there. How's it doing on outputting? Well, it's certainly not saturating that belt. Um, Maybe we should have more of this going up and less of it going down and let this bank down here, which is, yeah, so we could actually do this whole area for up. So, um, let's reverse these. that um, and this will go up and 
into that, which will help saturate a lot more. Actually, that should go on the other side. That way when it comes in here and it comes in here, it's not pushing into it. See, I suppose we could... I mean, there's a fair amount of stuff there that we could put some lines on. It's not like we're going to have to place extra anything to do it. Um, so that'll help too. So how's that looking? Starting to back up on the top. So that's good. Um, it's doing okay. And we're backed up all the way to here, here, and here, at least on one side on at least one side for iron output so that's pretty cool um, I feel like this should be split into two right away the problem is these ore lines are here and yeah I want this open space so when this eventually expands there will be four lines going down this way so what we could do actually though for right now is put a splitter here, loop that around to there, loop that down to there, and then up here, I can uh, merge these four. So I have a really nice blueprint that I found on the Steam forums, um, I think, for a very efficient uh, rebalancer. Just don't have the actual parts for it yet, so I have to fill them by hand, but that's not a big deal. Um, boom, boom. And then we wait. Let's do these and the belts. Uh, let's see, so we got this coming in there and then back out. It's not going to act right until I put in a splitter. There we go on that. There's that. Is that everything? Looks like it. Alright, so you see that then balances out into the four lines. It should be about even. Um, but that should also use up some more iron. Um, until we can fill in this area here with the additional belts for the main boss. Alright, um, I think I'm going to call it for right now because I am getting pretty hungry and made some good progress here. Started uh, the second um, iron smelter down there, although I haven't really done anything with it yet. Rearranged this, got my new power poles in there so it looks better works better, more compact, got the uh, steel running at 100%, um, copper is still good, 
coal is fine, although it's not completely backed up, which isn't that big a deal. I could place a couple mines on top here. Um, but, and you see this is starting to back up too, so that's good. Science is going pretty well. Um, obviously completely backed up. No room for any more on that. Why is this one not doing anything? So it's not that one, it's this one. Because the arms... are coming out there so it can't get them as easily so if we do that that should fill in this little gap here I would think in any event um, uh, like I said I'm gonna call it here um, for the well for right now I might be back on later um, so keep an eye peeled uh, hit that follow button if you enjoy watching Factorio. I'm probably going to be doing that for the next however many times I'm streaming. Um, I will probably be streaming again tomorrow, if not later tonight. And um, otherwise, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it very much. And take care. Have a good night.